think like a Don. Mm -hmm. I want to learn to think like a Don player. That's one of your games, right? We're gonna do one of my games. <laughs> so we're gonna think like we're gonna think like Nick Savicki. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a very narrow Don level. Analysis. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that I can that I can speak for my kind at greater like, you know, greater numbers. But that's not true at all. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna look at one of my games. This is one of my uh, Young Gazong Dojong League games. And, uh, you know. Kind of, Those are the online games? So. Yeah, this, yes, this is an online okay. league. Yep. But, you know, they're pretty serious and they get reviewed by really strong humans afterward. And, you know, people take them pretty seriously, so they're good games. I am white in this game. And so far, what do you think I'm thinking? I mean, I guess they're going for influence over there, so. I don't know, I'm just playing here. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no thinking. <laughs> so, not a cross section game then, or? <clears throat> not a cross game. So, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. okay. Didn't want to, didn't feel like Guilty! Are you playing against another player? Or hmm? Are you playing against another player? Or? Yeah, so this is, this is a human-human game. So this is this is in the, um, so in Yogazong Dojong, I don't know how many flights they have, it's like 10, maybe 11, yeah, probably 11 flights of players in the American League and like another 10 or 11 like the European League. And so, when you start, it goes in like three month cycles, and at the end of each month, you get promoted or relegated up or down the, the different mm -hmm. sets. So, so I'm in the, the top set. This is the A1 set games. Uh, so this is, you know, there's six players in that set, and so it just does a round robin. And so this is one of the normal round robin games in that, in that top flight. So that's how it works. And if you're in the bottom two, right, then you, then you get relegated, then you go down to the next division. You gotta stay up there, man. Hmm? Gotta stay up there. That's right, that's right. Yeah, you gotta keep your mind because they're always coming for you. Always coming for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so my opponent plays it, plays this, and I think uh, so. One of the things actually I, I should I should talk about um, before this game, I'd kind of looked at some of my opponent's games, like because you know it's online, you can check their profile, and my opponent had been playing a lot of uh, five three openings. And that's kind of what I was expecting, mm -hmm. and so when he didn't do that, I was kind of surprised. And then he actually played Orthodox. And I don't know if that's just because he's had to change the heart recently, or because he knew I was, and he's like, oh, I'm playing, a, I'm playing Nick Sabicki, I gotta do things the right way. I don't know what it was, but he didn't actually open the way I thought he, I thought he did. And so, mm -hmm. uh, again, <clears throat> as a cue player, you probably never think about your opponent, and you're pretty focused on yourself. Uh, but in these league games, I do, I do occasionally, like, like, you know, these players, we play each other, you know, three, three times usually um, over the three months, if you don't, you know, get relegated. Uh, so, you know, you kind of get to know their style a little bit, and you can, you can check their, their recent games, you can look at their league games, and actually see what sorts of things they're playing. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of do that on occasion, and, and, and you know, you want to, uh, you know, play a game against your opponent, right? It's, I mean, Go is as much, as much about yourself, but at the same time, you're playing an opponent, and so... Q players probably don't think of that much. The, the, the Q version of that is, is just hoping that your opponents make a mistake, like, that's playing against your opponent. Uh, but for down level, you know, you gotta go one level higher. You gotta, you gotta look for those opportunities. And so, um, before this game, I was, I was actually thinking a lot more about the five free openings and, and what I would do against it. Um, and, uh, anyway, it didn't happen, so... Here we are. Um, but at this time, what is this Fus Fuseki called? Orthodox, I think you spoiled it, right? I did say that, didn't I? Yes. Damn it. Yeah, Orthodox opening. And I played the Orthodox opening quite a bit. Like, this is, this is like a standard thing for me. Like, I like it, I, I, I know a lot about it. And so for my opponent to play against me, I was like, great, I know this, this is, this is wonderful. Like, I, I have my own feelings about the Orthodox, and we'll just, we'll rock. So where would you play against the Orthodox, Orthodox here? Give me some Q speak, give me some Q logic. I just split. Yeah, so this is, this is fine, this is okay. This scene is a little bit old, but it's fine. You can also approach the top to try to keep more of an initiative, I think. No. <laughs> I was thinking the knight's move, but maybe that's bad. On the right-hand side, or my right-hand side. Good. Yeah. This move's also okay. Mm -hmm. You can play the one. Either, either of these are fine. Okay. Uh, I play this one. It's fine. It's, it's, it's uh, very similar to this in certain patterns, right? Because you're, you're just... If your opponent plays passively, you can just settle a group here immediately, right? And just break up the side of the board. That's, that's fine. Uh, that's the main idea. Uh, my recent games, I've really had, uh, I've really gotten into a lot of trouble when I've given my opponent big moyos. Uh, and so that was something I also really didn't want to happen. I was uh, pretty determined this game. I was like, look, 
The last two games, any, the, all the games I've won, they've gone great when my opponent uh, plays a territorial game, or at least more of a balanced kind of game. Um, the games where I tend to get into trouble are these big, giant, vast, you know, territory of Moyo games that uh, I don't do as well in. So I'm going to play this move, right, just with that mindset. Uh, what would you play as black? I'd like some sort of pincher. Which one? Um, well, just because I know it better, I'd go with the low one space pincher. Yeah. So, so this pincer is what my opponent played. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I'm going, nice. Because this is a mistake. Do you want to go like high or something with it? Or? So, well, here, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll play out the pattern and then okay. we'll show you why it's a mistake. Um, but I'll say that. In general, in this position, human players actually abandoned this move quite a few number of years ago. Uh, and if they're going to play low, they're going to play this one. Really? And so the question you might be thinking about is, well, why? I have like a guess, but I don't fully know. Okay, we're going to really? think like a Don today. Okay. Not gonna... Josekian? Well, it's, it's a Joseki, but not in this position. Oh. I don't know. That's a good question. All right, so if you're white, what do you do? Be a default. Um, now I did also put this game into robots, you know, after the game and check check some things. Actually, I, 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 if you don't let the robot run terribly long, it actually likes to move here, which is interesting. Get out, maybe lean, and just reduce while doing something. It is um, but it doesn't mind this move. It thinks this move is just fine. So uh, this way or this way? You want the bottoms? Yeah, you want to build this, right? Mm -hmm. Is the thing you're building? Okay, keep going. Nice. Next window. Next for white. Running under. Black. Block. Fix. Fix. Jump. I mean, they're both playable. Uh, I would go E, but that's like the older move. Yeah, this is the older one. The robots now are totally yeah. playing this. So everyone plays this now. Everyone does. Not, well, we're thinking like a Don. I don't, okay. care. I don't every, care about key players. Uh, well, I mean like every... It's, 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 if you're trying to build anything, in general, you just play this one. Okay. If you have any reason to be optimistic. Okay. Uh, and then white plays here. And so, you know, how does black feel? All right. Black should feel great, right? Black got what black wanted. And it's black's move. Yeah. But, what's the but? And remember, I, I, I said this, we could play the stone here. But humans are not playing the stone here. All right. So what's what's the difference? I'm guessing it has something to do with the spacing at the bottom. Kinda. You know. So when, when my opponent pincer can play the slow one, I was going yes because in the back of my mind I know I'm going to end up playing with this move. And this move, you know, it's just a regular shoulder hit. You know, super vanilla. You know, green pasture shoulder hit. But black doesn't really have a good response to it. What would you play as black here? Are you going to come out and attack it? Oh, that feels really bad. <laughs> do you feel one? Do you feel the bad? Yeah. You feel the bad? White has a choice here or here. Um, I mean, black is essentially building a wall here. You know, building a wall here, how many points is black getting? Like 12, maybe? 12 is optimistic. 12! 12 is optimistic. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, if, if black works really hard, we can make 12 points here. But we, we have to work really hard. Mm -hmm. And white will be very happy letting you work hard to get the full 12 points. Um, there's still logic in this stone, too. Mm -hmm. And so if white, if you, if you don't keep blocking, if white gets in here, the stone could be saved or become a nuisance later on. Uh, what if we block this way? Yeah, we play here or here, same idea. Mm -hmm. We just play here. Are you going to extend again? Getting third line territory. I'm like you were hoping to be at Moyo. Yeah, we 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 had big dreams, right? <laughs> we're getting half of our dreams. That's uh. It's it's like. Yeah. Does having that pinterest stone then one space further away make that much of a difference? Yes. 
Because if you play here, now when white shoulder hits, now when you come up, and let's say you play something like this. You can't leverage the stone that's over there. Oh, it's still not here. But, uh, uh, this, this, I, I know it looks only three points bigger, but that's, that's enough <laughs> okay. to justify it. <laughs> Um, this is the difference between something being worth not enough and worth, you know, fine, worth enough. Now this area is actually worth, you know, investing another move or two to, you know, make that 15 points. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason why we don't play this low pincer move anymore in this position. It's, it's too easily reduced. And the robots are really good at reducing, right? So all the AI games, oh man, they feast on moves like this. Right. They don't even like pincering. They don't like pincering in general, but I'm saying if you pincer against them, they're like, you got it. You take that pincer, that low, low pincer. Because they'll just happily take territory, and then they'll put stones over here and immediately reduce whatever little tiny plot of land you're taking for yourself. So anyway, I was very happy to this point. I was, you know, I might not have Sente, but uh, blacks, all black stones are on one side of the board. Very little, you know, well, I mean, Black has a little bit of cash here, maybe a little bit here, but, you know, territorial balance is really fine. My Comey still feels like it's totally worth it. And uh, I've got my next move to aim for, mm -hmm. which I can do pretty soon. Like, this is arguably almost as big as any, you know, normal big one. So if you're Black, what do you do now? Maybe play something on the left side. That was my opponent's reasoning too. Mm -hmm. So what would you play? I'd like approach one of the corners. Mm -hmm. But which one? Yeah, that's like a question. I mean, I think approach on the us? lower left. I'm on the phone right now. So. Oh, you're on the phone. Okay. Uh, I think approach the lower left. Okay. From which way? Uh, from the knight's move low. From so from the bottom. From the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I like this move. This is not my opponent play though. Uh, but I, for me, this move makes sense, right? It's like okay, yeah, okay. I've got this here. I've got this here. Let's continue having big dreams. And to be fair, like this, this was the move I feared the most, right? Again, I didn't want my opponent to have a big giant moyo because again, that's sort of what's what I've been deficient at defending or uh, invading the last few games I played, so when that's happened, I've gotten in trouble. So I did, really didn't want to see this move. My opponent was still thinking, this is too over concentrated, or this is like, I need to break up white now, right? Like, I, I don't know. For whatever reason, he played here. Okay. And I don't think this move is bad, but it, it, it it's but, like, yeah, it's it, like, I don't, again, no one will tell you this move is bad. Even the robots are like, okay, like it's not their preferred choice, but okay, it's fine. It's a big move, just took a big move. Um, um, but, you know, from like a human storytelling experience, right, where uh, black has an objective and we're going to see if white can defeat that objective, mm -hmm. this is very inconsistent. And so I was happy that black played. I see. Uh, Give me an opportunity. I didn't even hesitate to just play there. Boom. I want to play this. I want to, I you, know, you know, build, stay strong, and also reduce the potential size of this. So I'm super happy to play this time. What does black do? Attach and Q. Yeah, we have this whole new Joseki sequence that's oh, taken the world by storm. Good. Yeah. What a really play it. And uh, there's still choices here. I toyed with the idea of uh, playing this one. I'll show you the one I. I do really like this one. Even though it's not that good, I just like it. This is not the game. So, black gets a small corner. Black gets a small corner? Well, it's a it's medium corner. Okay. The black's not dead, so. Hmm? Black's not dead, so. Black's not dead, so that's great. Right? So uh, what did white get? A, a wall with defects. Um, well, the, the outside influence, but with Aji, right? Black's okay. um, This is the type of thing you want to play. If white had already made some other moves or exchanges like this and this, now this starts to look really good. Right? Without these already in place, I'm not going to play this just. Right? This is 
uh, to not have anything to immediately build or, or gain, this is too much Aji to deal with. <laughs> Play that one. Attach, honey, honey, Atari. And we instead of coming down and taking the outside, we just connect. Mm -hmm. Play. Okay. Black connects. White plays here. And black has a choice. And uh, my opponent played the move that the robots like. It's not the move that I like in this situation. Cut. Uh, not yet. So to extend up. Yeah, this is the move the robot's like. Um, it's... It's the move I always like. You like this move too? Well, really I don't want to like it anymore. I used to play it all the time. So, we're going to show you why I don't like it because... Or I, don't, I don't like it for black, right? For white, I, I, I think white's fine here. <laughs> like, is, is my feeling. Like, I, like my, my feeling, this is actually still a good result for white. Um, and we'll, we can explore this just a second. So when, when he played this, I was happy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll show you what we played out, because again, I think it went very well for me. Mm -hmm. uh, this move also is, is really your other option, let's say that, so here or here. Um, the problem with this move is that white wall gets bigger, like immediately. But black is really strong and, you know. Yeah. Fine. This is another game. It's fine. The reason why I like this move, um, this this extension, is that at least philosophically, right, you're kind of coming into White's neighborhood, and it felt like Black's immediate objective was to settle a group on that side of the board. Let's just have something on that side of the board. And if you play this way, it gets very solid very easily. When you play this way, White is yeah. playing here. Of course, but. I mean, it doesn't let black settle super fast, so white's somewhat happy. This is a really pesky move. Like you, like yeah. this is this is a, you know, we have to have a discussion kind of move. There are some new Drosbeckis evolving, like in the last really year, maybe two years, that are coming out of this position. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and here we'll, we'll we'll go through some of them right now. Now we cut. Well, it's black's move. Now we cut. Uh, we're gonna cut in the next move. First, we're gonna play here. See what White's ambition is. Uh, so what have you stand out? I mean, we know what White's about, right? So, no. uh, I played here in the game. Okay. And now Black. Okay. Catch up the iPad to the. No, okay. Okay. And so what is this move? Reduces liberties. It looks like it's trying to get some free moves of some sort. Right. It's a probe. White plays R5 and Atari down the immediate black response. If you play this way, this is a mistake in this case, right? So you don't, white normally won't play this way. The reason why it's a mistake is because uh, when you do, black can immediately take this move for free. Right, and then, then we'll, just play, we'll be able to follow up here. To take, uh, and all of a sudden, black has uh, more liberties in the corner, which is pretty cool. Uh, normally, in this type of position, black would play this way, so this is not for Sente. Uh, if, uh, right here, I'm going to try to play one of the sort of brand spanking new Josekis, and I'm not going to do it well. Mm -hmm. I really don't know it that well. <laughs> Um, but this is the next, after this exchange, this is the next move for black. And, oh man, I think we've played there, I think this is the next move. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. play it while you can. White plays here, then this is the next move. Whoa. Yeah, like, let's say this is a pattern I don't know really well. Like, I've only it seen it. It's really dangerous for black. Oh yeah. Well, it's dangerous for white too. 
I mean, Dangerous light loses everybody. three stuns. What? Yeah, that's bad. But like, black loses those four. It's like game over. No, these four are not black. that big. Black yeah, really. having thick machinery. So here, here, let's show you a different variation. Let's let's okay. go back. I saw that they were like really important. This, these them. are not that important. <clears throat> okay. Um, because here, let's uh, we had a stun here. We had a stun here. Let's say white cuts right now. Okay. So black plays two. Okay. Uh, if white pushes up like this, now we play here. Uh, if white comes out, we take another Atari, and then we pull back here. Four to four, white's move. White plays, black plays, white, black to do. Is that really... is this equal then? Game this is fine. This is okay, okay. for black. Okay. I don't know, it just feels like white gets a really large corner and so does so I. Mm. Yeah, actually, I think you don't make this exchange. This exchange off. Okay. You just, you... you <laughs> Leave it for later. Yeah, you, if white wants to push out, then you then you take it. Okay. okay. And I read it out that it does work if you try to ladder it. Hmm? Hold on. So, uh, here. What do you want to try? Well, then, like, if you kept on that pathway up, up way, instead of uh, when you had the T shape and you're trying to, when the white only had two liberties, and you, it was your move. There's a stone on Atari, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What's going on? Playing out the sequence again. There's a point where it. There. Wait. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have to play this one. This one. I, yeah. Oh, okay. This one. Okay. This one. Did not beat that. Okay. So this, this, is, this is possible. Like, this is this is a newish Joseki. Really? Uh, and. I should know it. You should know it. Yeah. That's right. Trick all your opponents. But again, we're gonna we're gonna see this this uh, you know all all these new patterns are gonna develop, develop very quickly, right? Well, mm -hmm. again, this is all sort of new, semi AI inspired go playing. Game the game here, here. Uh, oh, sorry. Cut. Yeah. Uh, block. And then my opponent played here. So didn't play this quasi new Joseki and still just connected. Thought the four stones are important. What does white do? And this feels very good for white. I think I think uh, at this point I put um, when I put the game into I can't remember if it was elf or Leo at the time. I think it must have been elf because at this point I think after this move it had it had the, the white winning percentage well up into the high sixties. Like it was a two to one game. Already. Okay. Again, elf is spastic though, so it's not really meaningful. Um, but how is Black's position here? It feels really not great. Like it has. A lot. Yeah. Do you remember that position where Black just had all this thickness and an extension over here? Didn't that feel nice <laughs> compared to this? I mean, it does feel nice compared to this, but I mean, at least there's at least a little white thing to attack there. It's weird. It's not great feeling per se. I was happy in the game. Like in the game, I was like, this is good. Black just came into my side of the board, tried to settle the group, and totally failed at doing so. So I'm happy. Black has one eye. I was going to say, Black has one eye. Is it's that a settled group, Dan? It's fair to say he has one eye. Is that settled? I didn't say it was a good, I just pointed that out. You're throwing me shade, though, Dan. You're throwing me shade. I was happy with this. You should be happy with this. Okay, good. We're in agreement. I said it was good. Don't go throw me shade, then, about white hair. Black has one eye. I know. I'm just figuring out the position. All right. Good. Black has one eye, sorry. What would you do as black? I'd, I'd run away. I'd <laughs> run away. How about we fart around for a while first? <laughs> My opponent played here. This is not a very good move. It's not, this is not that useful. Uh, and then he played here. It'd been better just to play this directly. I don't think this is a good exchange. Uh, and in this case, I played... Oops, this isn't here. Uh, what plays here? Um, I played here. Uh, in the game, the robot said I should have played there. Oh, they're pretty yeah. similar. Mm -hmm. You know, again, marginally better. A little more efficient. Uh, but they both kind of accomplished the same thing, keeping pressure. 
build and, and even um, start to get strength over here to really reduce this. Mm -hmm. All right, next move is favorite move my opponent played the entire game, move number 39. Oh man. What? what? That's move. That feels bad to me. Oh, does, in, in the game it felt terrible. Like I was like, oh man, that's, there's no way that's right. Right. It's but it's not bad. This isn't really? bad. This isn't bad. It's asking. It looks so dumb. Yeah. But here, well, let me do. Let me do something though. Okay. Watch this. Let me do some magic. Because I didn't. I didn't realize this during the game. But after the game was over, I just did this one thing. Went. Oh, of course this move makes sense. What if I took? What if I took these two something? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you're kind of trying to trap those in there. I can kind of see it. This totally makes sense now, right? Like, okay. like, does your brain make sense of this? So like in this position, right? If black comes over here, white's gonna run out and you have a fight and a fight, mm -hmm. right? If you just play on top, white's just gonna build and get too many points. So you play the, this sort of shoulder hit, right? Where you, you, you lean on the group to get strength, but you don't let them become big. Totally makes sense, right? The thing that threw my brain off during the game was the fact that this exchange of a meeting, right? And the relationship between this stone and this stone looks really, really bad. But it is, it, is, it, is, it just looks like, a, like an exchange, right? It looks like black blade here, black blade here. Totally makes sense. Look, here. If it's black to move, you can imagine a sequence that looks like that. Okay. This, this, is, this is an okay move. The robots even say, all right? It's not the favorite robot move, but like the robots are like, this is on the radar. Like, okay. it's like, it's like you put it in, it's like minus 2% over the most favorite move. Really? Maybe 3%, I don't remember. Well, it's not, it's, it's not a, it's, it's not, not a like game. a yeah, this 30 is fine. point swing, so it's right. playable. It's totally fine. Because it's just like, we just play this without these two stones there. It, okay. looks, it looks just normal. Uh, but in the game, I was like, that's wrong. Let's fight it. Yeah, I, I still don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, of course you're gonna play that, even if it's a good move. Yeah, natural, natural. Uh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh. That, oh. And the next question is, what should white do with the next move? Because I didn't do the right thing. The ideas I have is there's a cut that we could try to use, but I don't think it's good timing. Uh, difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. Also has to on K3, the popular side as well, but yeah. Yeah, it's a small. It looks what about safe. J3? J3 is better than K3. In the game I played K3 and I immediately like, I was like, bah, I should have just played it. Here, this felt weird to me because I felt like black gets a looks, bunch of pushes in a But tires. after you reject anything on top, this looks like the only thing. To, that, this looks like the first reflexive choice. So. This should be. This should have been the choice. Yes, this should. This should have been the move. I shouldn't have done this. The reason why I do this, I was thinking, oh, I just crawl a couple times, and then boom, I just come back in Hane. Uh, mm -hmm. Right? Because I'm like, this. This is still too far from this. Right? There's still a weak point. So I just want to get a couple extra liberties and then come back in Hane. Uh, Little did I know I would, this would not be happening. This would not really, um, yeah, not really work. <laughs> um, this is what I played. Uh, Chi Min, one of the, the really high level players who does the, the reviews for Young Gazong, um, the move he suggested, he actually thought why should play here. Okay. I looked at it, it just seemed like the follow up moves are just kind of, eh? Well, his idea is you're gonna play here, black is going to play here. And then when you jump, you jump with confidence. Oh, because you can, if you need to, you can kill that. Yeah, but um, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't, I don't, I think jump, just jumping it by itself is just fine too. Like, I don't think you need to do this. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about it is, yeah, if, if black does eventually get around, then yeah, you can kill off a stone, but it's probably not worth the exchange here. Because black wants to play this move anyway. So, but he's really strong, so I don't know. 
be skip. Um, I played here. And you can probably predict what's going to happen. <laughs> or black is crawling ahead of me. Yeah. Uh, and then here, this is a this is a small mistake. I played this one. And this was totally fine. As long as I have this liberty. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that problem. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. But but you're gonna, you're gonna see my reaction to that, right? Like like because because I play this one, I put this in the robot afterwards. The robot says I should have played there, <sighs> which doesn't that feel dumb? Like this is abhorrent to me during the game, right? Like there's no way I'm playing this shape. This shape is dumb. <laughs> Look at that relationship between these two stones. Dumb. Yeah, Can't play. Like you should be able to be optimistic on that side. Hmm? Slightly optimistic, but I guess not. I, this, this is just not a relationship, yeah. these, these stones. So I don't want to play it, so I play this one. But again, this one's only good as long as I have this liberty. Does your opponent take the liberty now? Oh yeah. <laughs> and it takes liberty, and I go, uh, alright, well... I can fight, oh. but you know what would really help a fight? Me having some central influence. Mm -hmm. Wow! Okay. Is that Sentai? Not really. Okay. I mean, it's a shoulder hit. It's the Sentai is. Okay. Yeah. And after he pushes up and you. Right now, now. By the way, the robot, the robot still like after, after at this point, I said it was had gone to like a two to one kind of favorable, mm -hmm. favorable game for white. Um, after this move and this move. It basically comes like a 50-50 crap shoot again. Like, where, like I, 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 it just did lose my advantage. Um, because... I'm gonna play this one. Oh my god, look how over-concentrated black is. That should feel amazing. And I'm like, look, okay, wall, wall, this is stay light. Look, I've got a group in the middle. A big giant Moyo can't hurt me. I've won this game. Uh, no. no, not at all, not at all. We gotta play this out now. Mm -hmm. So... What's going on? Wait a minute. There's no fight over here. There's no fight over here. So you know. that ladder actually works. Which ladder? This ladder for this stone? Yeah, that actually works, doesn't it? Uh, it does not work, no. It, it, it bumps into this stone. There's no ladder here. There's no ladder. Here's, here. Ann is asking about a ladder. Right, it does not work. It does not work. Do you guys see the ladder? Mm -hmm. It does not work. I think so. The black cuts here. That does not work. Cut. Take. Ladder. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Really it erases that one, okay. Doesn't quite work. Not quite, but still. Which, um... I mean, that one isn't... You know, when I, when I played this move, like, I knew this ladder didn't work, right? I read, the, I read that part out. <laughs> I didn't really read, really read how violent the, the straight fight would be, though. Like, I was like, oh, the ladder doesn't work. I'm fine. I think you're missing the whites. I am totally missing... Uh, what's still... Um, right, because before I played this, I was like, oh, cut, push, up, ladder, it doesn't work, fine, totally fine. Let's play over here. Let's do the thing I've been wanting to do. Remember this whole, this advantage I've been holding my pocket the whole time? Of this over-concentrated right-hand side? This is my moment of glory. I'm taking it. Mm -hmm. Totally should not have done so. Instead of playing this move, I should have just played here. <laughs> Does that give you leverage over the three stones of black there? Sure bit? does. Look, there's defects all over here. How many eyes does this group have? One. Yeah. Like, this this wall is not a super strong wall. I don't have to be scared of it as long as it has defects. It's not actually a true wall. It's, it's a group. It's a something. It's influence. I mean, I mean it's got cuts. For sure. So black play here, because the ladder doesn't work, black, black's not going to cut out the inside and take the ladder on the outside, black is going to cut on the outside, and I'm going to take the inside. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? What do you guys do? You guys are the ones who are trying to think like a Don player. F3. F3? Do you have the group? No, I think you have to save. Oh, you mean F2? If I, if I play this... Oh, bye-bye, Stone. Yeah. You give away the three I give up these three. blacks. Now, blacks former group that has defects is now super yeah, uber strong. And, yeah, you really. <laughs> yeah. So like there's definitely cases where you want to give up stones. Like don't be attached to all your stones. This one, this one, oh man, it'd be so painful to do though. 
you just take your panuki over here. Well, you get something you call for it. I mean, you get something pretty good for it. But probably not tree two, I guess. Okay. I'll play this one. Uh, actually, on the way here, I, uh, I, I compared this to this one. I think it's the exact same in terms of liberty count. I think, I think both of these shapes, black can kill and leave you, but it's, you have, black has to play Gote to kill you and then play an additional five liberties to actually take the stones off the board. And that's, a, that's, impo that's an important fact. Okay. Um, if you want to kill this, let's, uh, this black six moves here. If all of black stones are safe, how does black kill this group? So let's do this homework problem right now. K2, we're uh, I think K1 is actually better. Okay. K2 might work as well, but uh, this one's better. That's the next move for white. I mean, we could try like L1 or something like that. L1 is going a problem. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't get you don't you don't get to have still have five liberties as white if you play this way. Okay. And you do want to have a lot of liberties because look look at these weaknesses on the outside, right? Okay. You want to be able to fight, so you need liberties. Which is why I played this one versus this one, but again, I think they both end up with five liberties. Like I think it's the exact same. Mm -hmm. White has to play here. Okay. Black. Uh, here's best, I think. I'm not sure if it's about to. Uh, black. Dead. Dead group. Sorry. And has five liberties left. That's why it's like part of the game. Also. This is not the game. Not the game. But this is an important pseudo fact. Five liberties over the rail means it can live. Hmm? Five liberties over the rail means it can live. Yeah, but the problem is no, no, the no. two stones up there are broken off, so... Yeah, so white's gonna play here. Are you gonna play here? Yeah, now we have those three stones black to worry about. Now we're gonna play here. Okay. Right? If I can, if I can have five moves to kill these three stones, I'm totally alive here. <laughs> And actually, I mean, even, this might even be a shared liberty between this one, right? Like this one takes away liberty for black when black fills this liberty in. So I might even, I might even have a bonus liberty if, I'm, if I can kill these. Uh, so here, let's go back. So this is, this is the situation. White can die here. We are in trouble. We are in oh shit territory, even for down player, going, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What did I do when I played over here? What did I do? What did I do? I did something bad. But I know I got these five liberties, and I go, it's really a Gote move. I get, I get a bonus move and five liberties, right? I get one, one extra move and five liberties to find a way out of this thing. I've got a target here. And again, initially when I, when I tanukied away, I was like, look, I got a 4-4 stand over here. If black cuts anything, like, I'm, I'm strong enough. I've got a little bit of weakness right here. Got to make something happen. So at this point, this is really the only move. Where would you play if you were black? This move, do you see how it attacks both this and this? Yes. I feel like we really have to save the stones on the top left. Yeah, so what would you play? Go for the corner. Go for the corner? D3. Uh, reasonable, reasonable. It doesn't quite. Um, you, you still have to work kind of hard though for a little while. Uh, I'm not sure you actually get two eyes either directly. Just move. Black doesn't have to get two eyes. Black just needs to find five liberties and an extra move. Black can get five liberties and still have Sente to, to kill. Actually, you really need six, right? Because if you get, if you only get five, Black's going to spend the move to kill. And it's a five to five capturing race where white goes first. So you gotta have six liberties and then play the dagger move. And what about like D2? Is that too passive? Does it get you two eyes? No, well, I mean. Then game on. Okay. Uh, actually, it might get you enough liberties. That yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. I wasn't going for two eyes. Right, right. I might get you, that one might get you enough liberties. <laughs> Uh, my opponent didn't play it. <laughs> okay. 
The problem, the, the other problem with just getting enough liberties is that means white's going to get all, the entire outside. Okay. Right. If you're if you're only planning to get enough liberties and just enough liberties, you might kill this, but white won't build a wall this this big. Mm -hmm. Uh, my opponent played here. Okay, so he's also trying to attack two things there. He's yeah, he's trying to, um, you know, exploit the weakness here or here. But the problem, and, I, and this this move is actually a little bit overplayed. This move is, actually isn't very good um, unless you're willing to give up these stones and just take the whole corner, right? If you're if you're, if you're willing to just say, ah, never mind, I didn't really want these, I just really want this whole thing, then you can play this move. But if you're not willing to say that, if you if you want to hang on to everything, this move is a little bit of an overplay. And uh, I should tell at this point the subtitle of Think Like a Don player. Uh, this, this, the, I didn't, there's a secret subtitle to this whole, this whole game. And it's called, it's, the subtitle is, holy shit, oh my god, thank god I have a letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because this whole fighting sequence depends on me having one letter. <laughs> one very specific letter that you may or may not be able to see at this point. <laughs> Oh yeah, this came really close to blowing up, like spectacularly in my face. But I had this one ladder. All right, what do you think uh, Black does? How? Well, I'm not seeing it right now, but if I was Black, I'd be most likely to panic a little bit. Oh, you panic? I think it's connect. I thought, no, you, I thought you were being much more proactive. No. <laughs> you panic? Okay. How about this one? Feels like passive in a way. I mean, kind. Of, I, I'm worried. Well, well, here. If you if you play this move, why it's gonna play here, here, here? Are you gonna extend? Okay. So do you see the problem over here? Yeah. That's why this move is a little bit of an overplay because white can actually just after white gets stronger here, white can just cut it off. So he, you know, he sees this and he comes okay. back and defends. Uh, All right, only one way for this to go. How does it go? Atari. Push out. Atari. Again. Yes. Next move for white. Only one move. Push one more time. No. Uh, honey, got a honey. Black only has two liberties, okay? <laughs> if you got a short, keep the liberty okay. short. Oh, okay. Right, now it comes back over here. All right, you can see where every, everything is in flux, right? We have about one, two, three, four, five, if, assuming there's a connection here, assuming there's a connection here, five weak groups all fighting, possibly seven if these two get split. Again, moves over here are very valuable, right? This move, this move, and this move, these are all key moves, right? Because they attack both sides. Now, when you made uh, the E5 move, are you, like, before you make that move, do you yeah. check to see if you're keeping that black group to like six, five or six yes. liberties? Yeah, so I'm, I'm if, if black doesn't respond over here, this is my next move, and right, I'm going, okay, we got the six we need, or you know, about how many ever I'm looking for. Is it a letter now? Do you see a ladder? Isn't that a fun ladder? Does it work? Who does it work for? It doesn't work for black. I know. Isn't that funny? All right. Hold on. We'll keep going. We'll keep going because it's magical, guys. It's just... Yeah. It's super duper important. You're black. I play this move. He's got to get out. White connects. You guys see the ladder yet? What stone can be lighter? And oh my god, holy crap, hallelujah. This ladder looks like it works for black, but it does not. It comes up one line short. Really? If he had played this one, this game would have been over and lost in the opening. Mistake on move three of the game. Mistake on move three of the game. Needed to be there. Uh, right for the nice folks at home, you can see dot 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 dot. Yeah, it extends one out. So 
Oh, sorry, sorry, no, it has to go twice. Right. That was wrong there. It has to go Atari, Atari, and then here, right? So da, da, there we go. Yes, that is exactly on the line. Yeah, it drops down and yeah. Okay. Right, this is one of those like, oh, poop your pants. Thank God you played here. <laughs> you played Orthodox. I'm not the robot. So play, play the large extension win the game, guys. That's right. This is why the robots like this one for this very board position. The robots like this one. Yeah. I hope they only did that with the die. They like this they better like, than I didn't this. Know they, they like the long one for the lotion. They like they like this one better than this. Really? More frequently, they do. All right. So he plays this exchange. This is a good exchange room. This is the toughest sequence. This breaks the ladder. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we can't man. Atari twice. So I respond. This makes the ladder happen again. <laughs> this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Now he defends the ladder. Right. All right. And now this is a one game for white. Oh, this isn't big yet. Okay. This, 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 now, now, we're fine. Too many weak groups for black. That's right. White cuts. Uh, black, again, three liberties. This is an old, this is a serious time, right? We're not even like six, right? I thought we talked about like this group having like six-ish effectively. Mm -hmm. um, if black, you know, actually maybe this isn't even really, this is really, this really is um, five liberty. Maybe, maybe black doesn't have to spend a move here, right? Because white has to have the last response. So maybe it is a, Anyway, I have to recount. I'll leave on here. I think it's black. Uh, so black plays here, which I don't. I forgot what the robot said about this move. I felt like it was fine for me. Like I felt like this was not yeah. helpful enough for black. I mean, it's don't ask him what it's just fix himself, knows. right? I mean, is I'm 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 much happier here now, right? Because before, yeah. if this group ever gets stronger, this group has has a, a major defect to take advantage of here, here, yeah. right? All black can see what so. do would be to cut, but that doesn't look very mm -hmm. promising. And he plays all the things, and then comes back to gain more liberties. In <laughs> but it's late. He's like, aha, dead. So we save all the the rest of the middle group then. Yeah, we so oh yeah. So remember, we have this number, right? We just we just have we, as long as as long as he doesn't have five liberties or more than five liberties, I'm fine. Right. So I play here. Like, yeah, we can get. And again, I really I really do want to shore up both of these groups before I come back and make a, a living move. Right. I re if I can kill either one, I really don't want to have to spend a move playing here. So we can make life if we get Sente from a sequence then, right? Absolutely. We're, we're assuming we're going to get Sente. We're okay. assuming we're only going to play moves that force um, force a response. And once we want to play a move that doesn't do that, then we're going to come back to life. Okay. Okay. So it's totally a timing thing. So the play's here. Mm -hmm. This move is killer. This move is a nice move. Oh, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If so they don't respond to it, we go to G7 then? That's right. So he plays here. What should white do? Can white play this? This feels like a... No. No. Yeah. And I black this go Atari, Atari. And then you kill the white group on the left. Okay, so we can't do that. What should we do instead? What if we go for like e six? I don't know. Nope. That's right. That's, that's two one one thinking. Okay. Those three right. stones on the outside. I keep on looking at those three moves. Those three liberties that it has. I'm thinking one of those. All right. I don't think we're gonna check. This is the move we need to play right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember how I said moves that attack both groups. Are really valuable. This move threatens to kill both groups. And you're, you're looking at me just like you're like, what are you talking about? No, this move threatens the life of both of these groups. I mean, I can see it for the one on the left. This one kind of makes sense, right? Push, block, Atari, descent, and kill off these two, and then kill this, right? Okay. This yeah. group is not so clear that I this guess. move threatens to kill this group. It's, is it because it reinforces the left group so much that it makes it hard for the black group to survive? Nope. It's just reading. It's okay. just reading. Wait, 
Now that does G seven work now? Oh my God, David, you're like Don level thinker. Oh, he did. All right, how many liberties does the black group have? Two. 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 Okay, should be simple reading. There's only two liberties. Block. Uh, Tari. 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 Uh oh. Connect? No, he died. Block die. Uh, descend? Just Connect die. Well, this good. move is the move you need to make this work. That's crazy. Crazy, right? Yep. Also, those three stones on the left now are connected. Which three stones? The ones that got surrounded. That you surrounded the yeah, well, oh, these, these. Yeah, no one cares about no those. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, won't change. Yeah, this is, this is the thing. Okay. And that's sweet. So the question is, did Nick Sabicki play there? Like a pro. <laughs> the thing is, I read it out, but I thought I needed one more move. So I, did, I read this whole sequence out after I played my next move. Okay. That's always the best time to read it out. <laughs> oh. There's a clock, you know. It's confusing sometimes. So I play here, all right, oops, do, 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 do. he played here, and then uh, oh, I played this move. And now, once I, once I play this move, I'm reading out the sequence. I didn't even realize I didn't need this move. Like, I was like, well, once I play there, now I can play there. No, I don't even need this move. So in my head, I'm like, okay, what should I play next? Well, obviously I want to play here, and then I now this works. No, I needed to go back one step and say, oh, just play here, it still works. So I played here, he played a nice exchange. This is a very nice little Tesuji. Mm -hmm. Running this now. Yep. Okay. So I just connect. Uh, he connects. And then he should play this, he doesn't, he just jumps out for right now. I take that stone. Uh, and at this point, uh, we're not gonna go too much further into the game. Uh, Oh wait, I missed a move. I missed a move for me, right? After this one, after he connects here, right, I have this liberty count sort of in the back of my mind. I did. Okay. okay. Sorry. Then he jumps out, I take the stone. Uh, and then at this point, um, this is still a really hard game for black. Because let's, let's look at this group. <laughs> this is still a huge liability now on the board. I mean, so he, he spends his next few moves basically helping it not die, right? Yeah. Strengthen it, reinforce it. Does he reach out for the group on the right then? Yeah, he plays this. Which is actually a good Tetsuji, right? To take away my base or come underneath or do all sorts of things. So I respond is the hardest way possible. Um, the, problem, the problem with this move, if you're willing to do this, right? You have to be willing to accept what happens if black peeps here. But like, I'm like, he's got, he's got a weak group here. There's no way he can have time to do this. Anyway, it works out for me. Um, he needs to spend time making a base, he makes this weird kind of base thing. And then I get to play another dagger. Because, you remember this whole thing, this whole time I spent making this weak group? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel right now? It's way behind enemy lines Yeah, sure. where's the dagger move to make this group suffer? Well, I can... I don't want to say it's, it's in five. Say it again? I don't want to say it's in five, because that, that looks a little bit too... Bad. It's not in five. You can't, you can't quite kill it. <laughs> but you can certainly trap it very successfully, like in Sente. What's the move, what's the Don level move? What's your instinct? And, and, here, and here's, here's the key, right? Here's the Don level key to thinking about this. Is this white group strong? Pretty, pretty strong. Is this white group strong? Yeah. Okay, you can play anything you want. Okay, <laughs> that's the key. If this is weak or this is weak, then you have to play a more defensive move. Then you have to play a move like this, or like this, right? Or like this. That is not the case. M. Or seven, eight. Sorry, M8. M8? N8. Seven, seven, oh, seven, seven. Or, yeah. Oh, this one. Is this F7? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dagger move. Really, really obnoxious for black Because 
Black really doesn't want to connect because then he just gets sealed in, but oh, he really yeah. doesn't have much of a choice, it feels like. In the game, he plays, he tries to fight a little bit. Um, uh, is this the game? That's not the game. Hold on. Fast forward, because we, we did a bunch of stuff. We fought a little bit over here first. Um, oh, so this way. Yeah. Place here. Here. Uh, connect. Make an eye there. Of course, that gives me these sente moves. And then, white is super happy. Um, again, I didn't play all these moves out, but there is a little bit more of a white wall here. So this is looking. Like 25 point. Well, not. No, big way bigger. This is. I'm just spending take way more, like uh, 40 to 50 points here. Okay. Black doesn't reduce it. Super happy result for white. Uh, in, in the end, uh, I end up exchanging these for uh, this one and some more here. <laughs> um, it wasn't like an exchange. I've just been better off in a better, much simpler game if I did. I was having fun. Um, and so we, we still had a lot more violence to come, but uh, in the end, my opponent played it to the end, which he, I don't know why, because the final score is 59 and a half win point, point for white, because this was still just... Too big. Yeah. Oh, and also, uh, everything up here died. This is all white, yeah. <laughs> this, group, this group made it out, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that at home, guys. Imagine that at home, imagine that at home. Uh, so, a uh, man, holy crap, thank God I had a ladder. Yep. <laughs> Subtitle to Think Like a Don. <laughs> Have the ladder. <laughs> Have the ladder. Uh, yeah, because, you know, Don players make a lot of mistakes. You screw up a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. And sometimes it really just comes down to having one weakness you can exploit for one free move. If you can get one free move, you can get yourself out of any gym. Hopes, <laughs> just hopes. It's really depressing when you can't. <laughs> uh, so, anyway. I think we learned some concrete things, right? We learned about this low space shoulder hit variation, right? This nice concrete thing. Again, we got to review some of these new, very, very hot off the presses kind of Josekis. And uh, man, that one, two, three jump rule totally works when you have enough liberties, but when you don't, you have to remember one, two, three jump is not, not a good shape. One, two, three jump. Isn't the saying supposed to be because of liberties, one, two, three jump? Like three is supposed to be usually safe. Ish. The three is safe is you have, if you have four liberties. Yeah. Three stones need four liberties. Mm -hmm. Then you go into three jump. All right. So, fun game for me at least. I had fun. I had, oh shit! Moment in the middle, and then I came out victorious. It was like great, right? It's like all right. That was that was great. <laughs> that was like a nice action thriller movie.